Good morning. Today we are going to do a card for our teacher or a, a drawing for our picture, or our teacher, either way you want to call it. If you want to make it a card, you can fold it and smush it, or you can just leave it open like I am right now and draw on the picture just like this, okay? Because this is almost our last week of school, um, today is Thursday, um, May the 13th, and um, this lesson goes through Wednesday of next week, um, which is the, the 19th, and so we're pretty much in almost our last week of school for most of the kids here. And so I thought, you know, last week was Teacher Appreciation Week, but we were doing Mother's Day cards. And so this week, we're kind of a little little behind, but we're gonna do something that says thank you to our teachers. So here's what I want to do. I'm gonna write um, something on the top, and then you are going to draw a picture of what you want to give your teacher, okay? Um, whether it's a picture of you and her together, or it's a picture of something you know she likes, or whatever, um, some, something you just like and you think she would like the picture of. We're gonna write her a note, and then you're gonna draw a picture of your choice um, below it. And then you can send her a photograph of the picture that you have finished, okay? So the first thing is going to, that we're going to do is write, um, thank you for, thank you, my Y doesn't look like a Y, for being my teacher. Okay, so thank you for being my teacher. And then you're gonna come down at the bottom and say, love, and then your name. So anybody's name, not my name because I'm not the I, I'm not the student writing the note, but it needs to say love and then some your name. And so if your name is Maria, then you would write Maria. If it is Julian, you would write Julian or whatever your name is, because we have a whole bunch of kids still at home who would ha who have a whole bunch of different kinds of names. Okay, so write your name right here, and then in this space draw a picture for your teacher. So it can be something that you like to do. It can be something that you think she would like. It could be something as simple as um, an apple. I'm gonna draw a little apple. And then apples have a stem like this. And then you would color your apple in. What else could we put on here? Because teachers like apples. Teachers like, um, oh, a lot of teachers like um, their cups of coffee in the morning. So we could draw a cup of coffee. Also, remember, if I go too fast, you can stop the video and catch up. So this can be... Um, we can write coffee. We can also maybe come up with something else. And let's play like we're on a table here. So we're going to draw a line to make it look like our critters here are going to be sitting on a table. And let's think of one more thing that they have something that a teacher might like to have. Um, and if you think of something different than what I have thought, you can put something different in here. I'm gonna put a little line and act like we're gonna shade it in brown. So you wanna color, color your picture in. So this is gonna be coffee. So I'm putting some coffee on the inside of my coffee mug. 
I don't have a red crayon or color pencil within reach. Oh wait, maybe I do. Oh, I do, but it has no, um, no red. So I would color this in if I had something. Maybe this will work. We'll color it in. So color your apple or whatever it is you've drawn. If your teacher reads to you guys a lot, maybe you could draw a picture of your favorite book next to it. So maybe, let's play like we're our favorite book. I'm gonna draw a book. That looks like it's gonna be kind of laying on our table here. And maybe it's one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. And then we can draw our fishes. and color them red and blue. This is just an idea. You can do anything you want on this assignment. Anything you think your teacher would like, okay? After you're done, send a picture to me so that I know you've got the assignment done. And then um, you can also, we can also send it to your teacher um, and seesaw by clicking the button and um, sending the picture to me and she should be able to see it and I'll make certain that all of the teachers know that our virtual kiddos are making thank you notes for them this week, okay? That's it. Talk to you later.